Hi there, I'm Carol and welcome to our GCP Mindset channel. Our topic today is on the trial master file audits and inspection readiness. We'll look at preparation strategies you and your team will need to ensure audit or inspection readiness. Let's begin. The trial master file holds the entire story or audit trail of the clinical trial or investigation and is therefore succumbed to good clinical practice, audits and inspections to evaluate compliance with the protocol, the trial safe conduct and the quality of the data obtained and that all the activities of a clinical trial can be reconstructed from start to finish. If you're conducting a clinical study, whether you're still using paper TMF or already switched to electronic TMF, it's important to be prepared to host the audit or inspection anytime. Before we go right into some tips, let's be clear about these two terms. GCP audits are planned to comply with the sponsor's quality assurance program. Audits could be performed at any stage of clinical trial and are done most frequently during the active phase of the trial. The audit is conducted to verify that all clinical trial activities are conducted in compliance with GCP laws and regulations trial protocol and SOPs. The audits are mostly done at the clinical trial sites or at the central lab or at third parties subcontracted by the sponsor for certain tasks such as CRO or other service providers, for example, the provider of an ETMF system. The audits are performed by the auditors from CROs, sponsors or other third parties. GCP inspections, unlike audits, are performed by regulatory bodies, such as these examples listed here, again, to evaluate if the patient's safety, welfare, scientific integrity, and compliance with regulations for the clinical trial was assured. EMA has no own inspectors. EMA may request or trigger GCP inspection to their individual European member state, whereas each member state has its own inspectorate and inspectors in its own territory independently. We've been performing audits ourselves since 2005 and over the years we've had our own observations on the process, what one can expect during audits, how they take place and what are the key components an auditor will want to see during the auditor and this starts with the audit trail. The audit trail of your clinical study should be able to show what actions were performed, by whom, and whether the users were qualified for those specific actions, the dates these actions were performed, including the timestamps, in case of any changes on the data, including those on source data, should be traceable, why were these changes made, were these changes intentional, and can they be retraced back to queries? Typically, the elements of good documentation should follow the Alcoa Plus principle, attributable, legible, contemporaneous, original, and accurate. You can also find it on our video here. During GCP audits and inspections, the regulators and auditors usually look for certain key indicators. That's completeness, timeliness, and quality. These documents filed in the ETMF should demonstrate compliance with applicable laws and regulations. In case of any paper copies, these should be certified. The trial master file should also be kept current and up to date. The inventory should be tidy and in case of system audits, the system should be validated. Trainings for all staff and users should be documented. Also, the training process for external auditors should be smooth and easy to follow. According to ICA GCP, the clinical trial master file shall at all times contain the essential documents. The sponsor is required to implement risk-based quality checks, or QC, or review processes to ensure the TMF is being maintained up to date and that all essential documents are appropriately filed in the TMF. Important areas should also be considered such as are all the essential documents available in the TMF, have they been filed under the appropriate locations and in a timely manner, are the accessible rights correctly assigned with the correct permissions, and etc. This means it's important to ensure that the following documents are target for regular QC check since the start of the study to archiving and export. Prior to the SAV, all essential documents collected since the study planning, including those from study startup phase, such as study plans, investigator brochures, CTAs, the protocol, including amendments, the regulatory documents and approvals, informed consent forms and other subject-related documents, insurance documents, data management documentation, 
and in case central lab was used, documentation from the central lab, as well as IP documentation. After the SIV, documents such as site qualifications, including CVs of the site staff, training records, financial disclosure forms, delegation logs, local lab documentation, etc. should be QC'd. And during the active phase, it's important to continuously perform quality control of the trial status, any site changes, progress reports and notifications such as safety reports and forms, IP documentation, including shipment, inventory, etc. During closeout, the final logs, closeout visit reports, IP accountability, including IP return and destruction, all pending issues, acknowledgement of site, deregistration documentation should all be available and gone through quality control. Our tip is to perform a reconciliation of the documents in the ETMF as this will also ensure anything that could have been missed is captured before the audit or inspection. In addition, mock audit could be conducted which is beneficial to identify compliance issues, familiarize employees with the process and that they can practice how to behave and what to expect during a GCP audit or inspection. And that's it for today. We hope you liked our video and it will guide you to be ready for an audit or inspection. Alternatively, contact us using any of the links in the description below and we'll be there to support you. Take care, goodbye. Hey there, don't forget, like and subscribe. But most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.